Manchester United Transfer News Live Thomas Tuchel, very interested, and Ten Hag on trial. All the very latest Man United news, views, and transfer updates from the Manchester Evening News. Thomas Tuchel is being linked with the Manchester United job Manchester United progressed to the final of the FA Cup. After a chaotic victory over Coventry City at Wembley on Sunday afternoon, United prevailed 4-2 on penalties after the contest had finished level at 3-3 after 120 minutes. The Reds had led 3-0 but squandered that advantage in the latter stages, meaning the game was forced into extra time. Coventry thought they had won it with the virtually the last kick of extra time through substitute Victor Torp, only for VAR to spot an offside in the build-up. That forced the contest to a penalty shootout and United got the job done. Despite missing their first effort through Case Moreau, United's reward is a showdown with Manchester City in next month's final. First, though, attention switches to finishing the Premier League season as strongly as possible. But the big talking point is Eric Ten Hag's future and whether he will survive until the summer. United face Sheffield United on Wednesday night and will be desperate to halt their four-game winless league run. They last won in the league against Everton on March 9.10 Hag on trial. Until the end of the season United manager Eric Ten Hag will effectively be on trial over the next month. According to a report by The Telegraph, it is reported that new United technical director Jason Wilcox will conduct an audit of the manager's credentials and dressing room relations. Ahead of the club making a decision on his future ahead of this summer, what do United need to qualify for Europa League? European qualification rules explained following their progression to the FA Cup final, United have two bites of the cherry to try and secure Europa League qualification for next season. Winning the FA Cup would secure their place in the competition, as would a fifth or sixth placed finish in the Premier League. As United are facing Manchester City in the FA Cup final, the prospect of them losing that game still wouldn't put the brakes on their hopes of securing a spot in Europe's second best club competition. Mourinho takes swipe at current members of United's dressing room, former manager Jose Mourinho has admitted. There are still players at United that he wanted to offload during his time in M16. Mourinho was sacked as United boss in December 2018, but there are six players who he coached that are still on the club's books. He told The Telegraph, there are still a couple of players still there I didn't want five or six years ago. I think they represent a little bit what I consider not the best professional profile to a club of a certain dimension. But I did my job there. Time always tells the truth. I would love Manchester United to succeed. Tuchel, very interested in United job we brought you a line coming out of. Germany earlier today, claiming United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has held talks with Bayern Munich head coach Thomas Tuchel. A separate report coming out of Germany now, which is from Bild, as cited by Inside Football, claims Tuchel is very interested in the position. Tuchel is set to leave Bayern at the end of this season after learning his contract will not be extended, rabiot on United's. Radar ahead of summer transfer window according to a report by Italian news outlet Calcio Mercato. Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabiot is on United's a radar ahead of the summer transfer window. Rabiot was on United's radar two years ago and they attempted to bring him to Old Trafford. However, they could not reach an agreement with him over his wage demands, meaning the deal collapsed. United plan to strengthen their midfield this forthcoming summer and Rabiot is poised to become a free agent. Opinion. 
Ten Hag didn't sound like a United manager with bizarre claim after FA Cup win the rest of Eric. Manchester United appear to be making strides in their pursuit of RB Leipzig midfielder Danny Olmo. With Sofian Amrabat set to return to Fiorentina following an unsuccessful loan spell at Old Trafford and an aging Case Moreau. Potentially departing the club at the end of the season, Man United may be in need of more talent in the centre of the park. Furthermore, Anthony and Marcus Rashford have each endured a torrid season, thereby building a case for United to pursue some new wingers in order to bolster their attacking lineup. While signing a new winger and a central midfielder could be on the agenda, Almo proves to be a versatile player who could fill both roles, thereby allowing United to fill these roles with a single transfer the Spaniard has scored four goals and grabbed five assists. In 19 Bundesliga games this season, along with one Champions League goal in three appearances, he also scored a hat-trick to seal a 3-0 win over Bayern Munich in the DFL Supercup. Such performances have justified United's alleged interest in the player, with the people's person relaying late last month that the club are expected to enter the race to sign Olmo in the upcoming summer. Transfer window. RB Leipzig sporting director Ruven Schroeder appeared confident that his club could hold on to Olmo, claiming that the player is comfortable with them and is unlikely to give up the good life he has with Leipzig still. The midfielder's transfer cannot be ruled out, with ESPN's Rodrigo Faze claiming that Olmo is fond of Manchester as well as the English lifestyle. United appear to be taking Olmo's supposed affinity for Manchester seriously, with Sportbuild claiming that the club is getting serious about signing him. Sport Witness cites Sportbuild again saying that United made contact with Olmo, Asking him about his future plans. It was also mentioned that the 25 year old has a release clause of 60 million euros, which United could decide to pay in order to bring him to Old Trafford. Still, with the likes of Manchester City and Bayern Munich also being listed as potential suitors, United may need to act fast to have any chance of luring Olmo to the club this summer. Manchester United have tasked new director Jason Wilcox with guiding all technical areas of the football department to achieve the highest standards of performance. The 53-year-old begins his employment at Old Trafford with immediate effect having caught the eye of Sir Jim Ratcliffe during his work at Southampton. He is the latest former Manchester City board member to defect to the other side of the city. Incoming CEO Omar Barada is poised to exit the Etihad this summer, having worked with Wilcox during his 11 years with the Blues Academy before his switch to the South Coast. After helping under 18s to a national title and two FA Youth Cup finals, he had been promoted to City Academy Director in 2017. He was snapped up by Southampton. In January 2023, with the reputation of building one of the most exciting youth systems in England. When he arrived, former City graduates Gavin Bazunu, Romeo Lavia, Sam Edizi, and Juan Lario had already been at St. Mary's for six months. He ended up bringing more down to the Saints last summer purchasing Shea Charles for around £10 million and acquiring Taylor Harwood Bellis on loan, despite stating upon his arrival, I've not come here trying to bring Manchester City down south. Trying to do that at United may be a shorter journey for players but a near impossible task. However, he may have the edge over former City graduates who have moved on. United are set to search for a centre-back this summer and Fulham defender Tosin Adarabayoyo has been linked. The 26-year-old left City's youth system in 2020 after loans at West Brom and Blackburn and has now become a mainstay in Marco Silva's setup. He sees his contract expire this summer and Fulham are rumoured to be pulling together a bumper contract in a last-ditch attempt to keep hold of him. 
Tosin Adarabayoyo of Fulham the Fulham defender played 10 FA Youth Cup games under Wilcox, losing in two two-legged finals against Chelsea in 2015 and 2016. Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, and Fikeo Tomori were some of the opponents, for context. Adarabayoyo has not quite reached the heights of that trio just yet, but a united move would place him in that bracket of notable graduates from those FA Youth Cup finals. United need younger center halves, two Johnny Evans, Harry Maguire, and Victor Lindelof will all be north of 30 by the time next season starts, while Rafael Verani is currently set to exit at the end of his contract in June. Lisandro Martinez, like Adder.